at what they were trying to do, and we, we didn't even, like you said, oh, he's a fucking drug dealer, who cares? Um, yeah. And uh, I think everyone kind of shared your sentiment more than mine, but now here we are with two non-drug dealers, and they're doing the same fucking thing. Which is funny, because the question a week ago was, how long is it going to take China to buckle and give these guys up? Well, I guess they just answered that question, didn't they? And, uh, yeah, so China is basically saying, uh, Let's get ready to rumble! And uh, over here on our end, of course, we've got uh, Justin Trudeau, who's uh, drawn the line in the sand like this. What are we doing? Like, how, do, how are we... Sending this company up north to develop uh, 5G and, and, and high-speed internet in the areas, and then at the same time extraditing their their president and and you know trying to look tough. It's and at the at the expense of now of Canadian lives. These people are going to die. China doesn't fuck around. Yeah, no, they don't at all. They will. They, they'll kill you for uh, this conversation we're having. So. Uh, yeah. What, what do we do now? We've, we've already shown we're not going to do anything, really. Now, See, that's the, that's the thing. Like, but we also don't negotiate for hostages, remember? That's right. So what do we, now our, it, it's, it's not even a catch-22 anymore. It's just a, uh, I believe the French term is clusterfuck. Yeah, I believe that's exactly how they pronounce that. Yeah. Le clusterfuck. Le clusterfuck, yeah. <laughs> I just... What I don't get is that, again, it's one thing to, um, to sit there and say these are false allegations, but when you are direct, directly timing your linking of these quote-unquote Canadian spies, which, I mean, come on, Canadian spies? Give me a fucking break. Yeah, exactly. What, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? Like, we're Canadians. What the fuck are we going to do with this information? We're, we're nobody. Yeah, it, um, sell you girl you dad know, cookies? I don't know. Well, that's just it, right? You Open know, it, Tim Hortons there. We don't have a whole lot of options here to do with this information, but it, it just, all it does is just show, it just, just shows your guilt. It does. And I don't understand how, like, I just, I just don't understand, like, what I would like to say, I mean, personally speaking, I would like, for some strange reason, I would like to see an all-out war start with China. I think that would be awesome to see. Because I think if the U.S. were to stand up for what they're doing and to intervene with what's going on with Canada, and to all of a sudden have like a form of a war start out, you would see a lot of people taking the side of anybody but China pretty fucking quickly. It would be a very interesting thing to see where America fell in that fight, because they, they're either way they lose, you know they. They can't really defend us and and ruin all the ties they built with China, even though they're kind of trying to strong arm China right now. Anyway, it would look good on their part. Like they're they're, they're fucked. There's there's no that's a war that just sucks. We're all fucked in that situation because we rely on China. We're depending on China for a lot of economic development. Um, we're, we're we go back ten years if we bail on them. Um. But they've the invested. Just, sorry. Understand that we don't need them. Yeah, but they've invested so heavily in Canada at this point that I think they need us. Um, exactly, which is why we are the ones that will lose out. It'll be fucking China that will lose out because without without um, North America taking financial backing on what they're doing, China loses. Where they do, need our money. Where do Chinese Canadians sit in all this then? If we go to war with China, what the fuck do we do with the metro town? You know? Well, they just denounce China to stay as Canadian citizens and continue with their money making is what they do, so. Or do we go uh, World War II on their ass and we turn Burnaby into a big internment camp like we did the first time around? That's. Well, that's Can we even uh, stomach that anymore? I don't think we could stomach that kind of behavior anymore, but I could see a lot of... Uh, Chinese support in our communities uh, going really badly against us. 
I hope I'm wrong. I'd like to think that they identify as Chinese Canadian more so than Chinese because their country sucks, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, it's, it's a it's a tough question because yeah, that's a scary question. That's a lot more scary yeah. than the Russians because we all knew the Russians were ass backwards since the fifties anyway. They weren't really a threat. Yeah. No. Um, that was. That, is a legit threat, though. They are, and um, they've always got Korea in their back pocket too. If they go, hey, little buddy, you want to get test out your missiles? We'll, we'll be friends again. They, yeah, it, but, and he'd be all over it. Yeah, but even then, though, nobody wants to fuck a, start a war with the U.S. Nobody wants to get involved in a war with the U.S. Because everybody else, minus direct terrorism, like, oh, you know, yeah. uh, everybody else, when they get to a war... For the most part, they play by the rules. And you know Trump's sitting there every night with his fingers above that button just daydreaming about the day he gets to push it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I think and everybody knows that. He would, uh, he would, you're right. You don't want to fight America, especially now. They have nothing to lose. They will blow you into oblivion. You'll be wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah, Trump doesn't fucking care. Just does not care at all. And they all know it. Trump's a fucking wild card. They all know that there's nothing, they can't get away with anything with Trump because whether he's right or wrong, he doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. No, he doesn't. He'll, he'll, ready, shoot, aim. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's always been his style. That's why he's such a great businessman. Yeah. Uh, well, a great businessman. He's been bankrupt 12 times, but no, we don't like to mention that part of him. No, I mean, that, that, but yeah, but you gotta remember, there are, the always back argument is quite simple. Sure, he's had 12 failed businesses, but he's had a hundred and something extras that were all successful businesses. Hey, so, you know what? I'm sorry, I, I kind of got aside with them on that one. You know, every great guy has failures, that's how you get great. Um, yeah. Look, G Gordon Ramsay had five shit restaurants before he ever had a good one. Um, no, that's very true. You know, it's, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm the turning. The difference is, is that Gordon Ramsay did fuck people over with his restaurant where Trump has built a reputation on fucking everybody over he and, comes in contact and with. And yet people just still flock to him. Um, yeah. And God damn you, Justin Trudeau. Fuck you for yeah. for making me like Trump a little more. How dare you? I always said I wasn't even going to mention Trump's name on this show. He didn't deserve my airtime. Uh, I wasn't going to discuss America. And now... Now my country's worse. For the first time in my life, I feel like we're worse. My God, yeah. fuck you, Justin. God damn it. Yeah. I, 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 it, it, it's a terrifying thing, because, you know, like one thing I've always been able to say about Canada, so as much as you know, Canada has its issues, and we're our own little fucking country and all, but I can always say I'm in the, in the sense, I can always hang my head high and say I'm proud to be Canadian. I can't say that anymore. I'm I, ashamed. Not right now. Uh, we've, we've, uh, you know, it started with Omar Cotter was the first thing I questioned, um, and now he's he's given citizenship to a terrorist who's on death row. Um, it was a, a, an oversight, uh, hopefully, but who knows? Um, just absolute ridiculousness. He doesn't give a shit about anything or anybody. Um, you know, and I. I Everything people questioned at the beginning, I didn't. I thought there's some method to his madness. No, he's just a snot-nosed piece of shit. He doesn't give a crap. And he sucked me right in just like Christy Clark did, the fucking liberal. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's, it's terrifying but true. It's, it's a fucking mess. And like I said, as, as a Canadian, as it stands right now, I am absolutely embarrassed to call myself a Canadian anymore because... I, we now have literally nothing to be proud of. This is pushing me more and more to want to go uh, start my sovereign land on my plastic island until Elon rescues me. Anything is going to be better than what we're dealing with. That's for and I sure. think we can, I'm absolutely going to try that. Uh, if this summer trip goes well, I am going to attempt to get to that island. I really am. Um, speaking of which, this oh, summer trip... Uh, have you a couple of trawler boats, some netting, we'll collect all that garbage, put it together in one spot, we're done, that's it, we're set. Exactly. Um, 
And uh, I, 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 at this point, I would almost try it. I would try any island. If there's any island out there I can occupy and declare a sovereign territory, I will. Because I, I don't want to live here anymore. I really don't. It, it, I don't see a future here. I'm scared for my daughter. Um, speaking of which, on a lighter note, let's turn to a light note just for a minute here. Uh, okay. How's that GoFundMe campaign going? Well, we've raised zero dollars. Good, good, good. Right on track, man. <laughs> it's, it's known. Um, I have been, I've been publicizing it, asking for uh, you know friends and some family for donations, and uh, apparently. Nobody wants to, so... No, well, maybe people don't understand because we haven't had a very clear couple of episodes. I don't know. Maybe they got the point. Ladies and gentlemen, we're raising money to send me on foot in my best Steve Fonio impersonation from here to Toronto. On foot to meet the cast of Degrassi. Now, the, the entire cast of Degrassi... Now, usually when, when these people say, oh, the entire cast is going to be there, it's like... Two guys you never really like and three you've never heard of? No, this is the entire fucking cast get together for my birthday. They decided to do this just for me. And I might not be able to be there without you guys' help. And all I need from all our listeners, 50 cents. 50 cents each, and I go there, and I get to eat the whole time too, which is going to be incredible. Um, I will walk across Canada to meet these people. Um, And then Gordon and I are going to take off. And uh, head down to New York and meet our anchor friends and uh, recap the whole terrible trip on a live podcast from the studio in Times Square. It's an absolutely once in a life. This is literally once in a lifetime. It's not like a marriage or a graduation. You can always go back to school. Nobody's ever married once anymore. This is literally once in a lifetime uh, that I get to get drunk with Joey and Snake and hit on Caitlin. This is ridiculous that this is a thing that's going to happen. And I need you guys' help. I am begging uh, help me get to Toronto. Help me and Gordon get to New York. Um, I want to go visit you guys in Ashburn. Ashburn, you're not an uh, unwealthy group of 31-year-olds. I read about you. Kick in a couple of bucks. See me do a complete... I'm not Survivor, man. This is going to be a train wreck. It's going to be hell. Um, and I'm going to put the whole thing up on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. Uh, it's going to be a great, great summer event for the show. It's going to be great for the kids at Degrassi. They finally get to meet me after 30 years of waiting. They're very Again, lucky. When you set up an event like this and you don't have the main reason for doing the event there, and that, that's just not cool. We what, need your guys' help to get them there. So what a loss so for all these great Canadian actors. They've given us so much, and they just want to meet me. It, it, it's going to be great, and I'm going. It's going to happen. But uh, if you guys could help out, I it would really appreciate it. You can check out uh, uh, Gord's GoFundMe page, or you can always get in touch with us, Eric and Gord at Outlook.com. And uh, keep sending in your five star ratings; uh, those mean a lot. And uh, send in some emails, review the show, get in on this contest. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later, I think. Um, well. Yeah, this Degrassi thing, this has to happen. I was, I actually had a dream about it last night. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. This is how lame I am. I had a dream about uh, meeting Caitlin last night. How did it go? Um, it was really weird. We were like on a, I don't know, it was weird. We were, there was a like a semi-truck involved, and her dad didn't like me, and I got stuck in an elevator with him. And uh, It was a very strange dream. I was helping develop a school, like, like I was a construction worker working on a school. I don't know. It was crazy. But um, I think it was a cry for help from them. They, they need me out there. Um, they were doing an EFT dream right to you. This is what happens when you let me have a night off. My mind wanders. Shit gets weird. I gotta stay focused on the show. Um, and this is, why I, this is why I do my best to try to suppress my dreams. I just, I just don't want to be a part of this shit anymore. Oh, no, yeah. My, the shit my mind comes up with, I'm just like, why? Why would you even think of that? Why why would my brain put that in my head? It does, my brain doesn't like me very well. I do not get along well with my brain. 
It's it's kind of like uh, these new Google assistants that don't do anything for me. It does the basic operating function without my permission, and I just let it do its thing. It lets me. Do